Area Park Central School has 140 students. One unique aspect of the school's program is what's affectionately known as Dog Day. It's when the school takes on 13 extra students of the four-legged variety. The school set up yards across the road and refers to the program as the Barking Dogs. There's no shortage of enthusiasm among the students. And as you can see, the dogs are full of energy and ready to work. Now, when she comes around, I'm going to keep her coming about. She's, only, she's doing a good job. She's getting the sheep right. She's starting to slow down a bit. I'm going to pick my stop now. Molly, stop. Molly, stop. Relax pressure. Stand away from her and leave her sit. Like all good teachers, Justin Dunn, who is also a farmer, has improved his own skills in order to pass them on. This dog's a lot faster than you, so you're going to have to think quick. Now's your time. In there and stop. Molly, good girl, Molly, good girl, good girl, good girl. OK, here's your chain. Good job, you did all right. But the school's also brought in a professional. Peter Darmody is a champion on the Australian working dog circuit. He's helping the students fine-tune their skills. Bye, steady. Students are easy to train because you got them from the start. Whereas some farmers, you can get them to train a dog or, or sell them a dog and then you've got to sort of train the farmer. Stay there. The dog's natural instinct is to bring the sheep to you. So that's what I've been trying to teach the kids here. Sit, sit, sit. Call it to you. Boss come. Peter farms at Beckham, 10 kilometres from the school, and calls in throughout the year. Teach him to sit. Get the chain shorter, shorter, shorter on your arm. Haley's dog Roy is still learning the basic sit. commands. Roy, sit. And it appears he's already identified who the boss is. Roy, sit, sit, sit. sit. I got him sitting without touching him now. It can feel like a lot of pressure when you're under the eye of an Australian champion. When it comes to homework, Haley has plenty of opportunity as does her eight-year-old brother, Tom. They're on a sheep and cropping property just out of town. The dogs cost their father, Rob, a case of beer, but since then, the dogs have been the children's responsibility. Me. Me. And on the day we came for a visit, they've been given the ideal test. We're going into that paddock to bring the sheep in to the yards there, because two rams jumped in with them. Come, come up. There's a lot more space to cover here, and it's done on foot. But training like this really reinforces what they've learnt at school. Roy, go back. Bud will have a good day, and then he'll be bad another day. But yeah, I guess that's what pups do. Either way, there'll be another story to share with their classmates. And this group of school students is a real team. So much so, their enthusiasm is contagious. The rest of the school is getting behind the Barking Dogs program. But there's lots of interesting things happening. So our Sheepdog Training program is one of a few projects we run. Um, but it is extracurricular, so we sit that on top of our baseline curriculum. Um, so sheep dogs, we've got our recording studio in our music department, um, and also our STEM centre, which is part of our science, technology, engineering and mathematics um, initiative. Even the school's music program has eyes and ears on the dogs. Can we do Home with the Barking Dogs? Yeah, yeah. Kindergarten student Jake Berkner is auditioning for a part in the school's song based on the dogs. Home of the Barking Dogs, yep, yep. Home of the Barking Dogs, yep, yep. The aim of the song is to kind of like show people how fun this program is. It's not all just work, work, work. It's fun, you get out a little bit of school, which is a bit good. So yeah, it's just very fun for the kids. So you've got to remember, like I've been training you, the straight line. But some are taking it a bit more seriously. The boys are planning to put their dogs to the test in just a few days' time at the local show. And once they're out, shut your gate and put your dog in there to bring the sheep out. Sit. Sit. 
They've asked Peter Darmody to explain exactly what the course will look like and what they'll need to do. No pressure on them, but I, I'm just trying to get their dogs to perform at their best ability and then try to convince the students to do a little thing this way or do something that way. Right, uh, watch your command to go. Tom O'Dwyer is one of those planning to compete. Yep, hold your gate. First, they're taken through a gate. Come round here, come round. That's it. Well done. Then through a series of obstacles that every farmer would encounter. Bit again, so just take your time. Because the dog's so eager, it's not an easy task to control him. shut your gate. Don't run. Then across the yard for another challenge. Make him sit. That's it. Now let him sit there for a second, think about what he's doing wrong. And here, competitors must split off the third, fourth and last sheep in the group. Wrong way around. It might seem harsh, but Tom loves the pressure and the chance to bond with his dog. You've got to get that back into him, haven't we? Oh, I've been my dog pretty much since he was a pup and he's been pretty handy and good to me and does what mostly what I want him to do. And yeah. Is he your best friend? Pretty much, yep. Yeah. When you get about that rock there, just cast your dog in. This is valuable learning time for these boys. The next time they do this, we'll be at the show. But they're already looking ahead way further than that. I want to go on now, be a farmer when I leave school, so this is helping me to get started. They walk up there and call him round. Mitchell also sees the value in selling a good working dog. He already has a price tag on his offsider, Rusty. Over $500, I reckon, for the right buyer. Area Park is known as the home of bulk grain handling. In 1916, the first trainload of bulk wheat left the Area Park siding. The main street houses a tribute to the wheat lumper. But this bloke's the only one in the main street today because it's show day in Area Park and everyone's at the showgrounds for a chance to display their produce or their riding skills. The grandparents are looking for bragging rights from the junior showboy and girl competition. While others just want to catch up with the neighbours over a steak sandwich. The Area Park show has been going for 105 years and it's a great history of, of a show. Uh, the community always comes together. The Area Park show is a highlight on the town's social calendar but it's the Barking Dogs debut that has everyone talking. Three students will be putting their best mates through their paces. The yards have a fair crowd for the dog trials. And the organiser is happy to see how the local school is generating interest in working dogs. Probably been well over 20 years since I left Area Park Central School and yeah, I only wished it could have been going when I was there in my day. It would have been something that would have relished a chance to, to have a go at. Tom looks like he's improved today. Stop. Come on. Over. Peter wants to see whether he's sorted out his counting. Stop. Stop. Steady. And... Tom passes the test. How'd you go, Tom? Oh, yeah, Con did pretty good, but just at the end, he split the shape up, which wasn't the best, but he did pretty good. The pressure's off now, and his family couldn't be more proud. Daddy, stop, stop. He Daddy, also stop, gets to watch stop. the others go through their paces. Daddy, go back, go back, go back. Go back, Daisy, go back. Daisy, come here, Daisy, come here. Back. Stop. Now, Rusty, stop. Rusty, stop. And it looks like hard work out there. Rusty, come. Sit, sit. The sheep are refusing to move. Rusty, come. Rusty, come. And at one stage, they lie down. Come here, come here, come here. Dave, come here, come here. Come here, stop, stop. How'd you go, Blair? Oh, yeah, not too bad. He, the sheep are getting a bit stubborn, I think, and he went all right. It's just he needs to sort of listen a bit more and sort of stop when he when I tell him to, but he went all right overall, I suppose. Congratulations, all the boys. You've worked their dogs really well. Finally, it's time for the results. And the winner, 
Pas mal loin. <rire> And uh, look, I think this is um, fantastic. It's so great to see so many of the community come here and support our our young young generation. And I think that's what it's what it's all about. And it really shows me how something like this can really connect our school with our community. School memories are made sweeter by moments like these. But there's one key player missing from this picture. Tom's pup, Con knows there's a reward coming. Oh, no, you don't really want to give up. You just want to keep trying to get him to do the right thing and do what you want him to do and, yeah. <laughs>